Matt, thanks very much indeed. Now it has been the revelation of the week from the Leveson inquiry. The Prime Minister has been getting his text to speak wrong. Yeah, we're looking forward to this. Uh, I must admit, I've learned a few things from uh, what we're about to do. Um, the former News International boss, Rebecca Brooks, explained in her evidence, I'm sure you saw it, that uh, she had to set him straight after he kept getting his acronyms mixed up. Occasionally he would sign them off. Um, uh, LOL, lots of love. Actually, until I told him it meant laugh out loud, and then he didn't sign them like that anymore. Well, David Cameron's not the only one to uh, find it a little bit confusing. So to try and help us out, we're joined by uh, the technology blogger Tom Cheesewright and the agony aunt Susie Heyman. Thanks very much indeed for coming in. Uh, you're often contacted by parents who are struggling to communicate with their children. We're going to talk in detail in a minute, but we thought we'd put uh, your knowledge to the test. Yes. Do you know what the following messages mean? Here's the first. Let's have a look at it. WBU2. Yeah. Yep. That apparently is. Guess. Anyone? Yep. What have you been up to? Oh, yes. knows it. What have you been up to? I'll try this one. Uh, right, I can't even read it. My eyes. That's yeah. an easy one. Uh, yeah. Talk yeah. to you talk later. To you later. Okay, yeah. Fine. And finally, here's. Uh, okay, talk to you later. Uh, what? Now this I didn't have get. One. Oh, yeah. Go have on. A, anyone? Have a good one. Have a good have one. Have a good one. Susie, you know them all now. <laughs> and I mean, this this will sound dreadful. Please don't hit me for saying it because it will sound dreadfully rude. But I know you didn't expect somebody of my incredibly involved stage <laughs> well, to know these sorts fine, of things. Because yeah. you said it, and I didn't have to. But it is very confusing. It is, but it's supposed to be. I mean, that's half the point of any sort of slang, particularly mm. tech speak. You do it with your friends, and there's two things. Firstly, it's to make sure that the, the parents can't understand what on earth you're talking about. Which they mm -hmm. can't. Which they can't, no. exactly. So, job done. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other one is, it's almost like it's your membership ticket. It's, we belong to this group. If we know this language, we're in, we're part of the group, and it says that. And it's, so, you know, in other words, parents are outsiders, or people who don't know are outsiders, and you're on the in. Tom, um, you work in this world very much. You're very much involved in it. How on earth do you keep up with all these little abbreviations? You must see loads of these all the time. The answer is, to an extent, I don't. Mm. I keep up with the ones that I need to. But it's very, very stratified. This is different groups. There's different types of tech speak. Some of it comes from the online gaming world. Some of it comes from kind of teenage socialising. And actually, there's a whole set of business tech speak. NP, mm. no problem. Uh, you know, that the doesn't really exist. I doubt they'd know what Swalk means back from the kind of you know, <laughs> yes, love letters well, yeah, in the no, 50s. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and so but then that's come back. Has it you, oh, yes, absolutely. News to me. Yeah. But, you know, the, likewise, I don't know the, the terms that 15-year-olds use. I had to look up YHYH, mm. -H, which is apparently yeah, yeah, or yeah, I'm doing it. YHYH. Yeah, yeah. It was new yeah. on me. So some yeah, people yeah. will be horrified, though, because it has crept in, text speak has crept into everyday language i'm sure school teachers see it written in mm. exercise books yeah. all the time yeah oh it's almost dumbing down isn't it well context is important obviously and yes if you're using it i suppose in speech it is dumbing down but the point is when you're if you're texting if you're emailing an email after all is a much more informal form of communication than writing a letter is yeah. Actually, I th you know, I can I can see that it's very useful. I mean, I use it. I don't say, "Oh, that was a really funny joke. Thank you very much." <laughs> yeah. I say you RFL, say, you know, RFL, which before, is are rolling on floor laughing. Okay, it's a very quick, good way of doing it. Um, and if I'm, yeah. you know, if I'm if I'm texting with a friend, I might use soz instead of sorry, yeah. Yeah. because it's quicker. it's quicker. Did do people, as Mr. Cameron clearly did, mm. get things mixed up? I suppose so, yes, if you're not very used to it. Yeah. But I don't think that necessarily matters. I mean, I think LOL is laughing out loud yes. and lots of love, so it's a bit pretty for, uh, to correct him. But, but I would have thought if you're trying to use it to say, look at me, I'm a down with the kids, <laughs> if you're trying it with teenagers, don't do it. That's the cardinal sin. I've got a question for you. What about people who put kisses on the end of a text? <laughs> now, you, what do you do? You do that? Everyone, everyone will get Girls yeah, do. Uh, all the Chaps time, I, and I do yeah. it by habit. And yeah. I probably would, you know, text the plumber to confirm what time is coming round, and by mistake, put a kiss on. Well, the my end. default it's signature, really yeah, my not, default signature is Sus X. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Susie, you know, for yeah. short X. It's, it's really mm. not appropriate, is it? Uh, less of a problem for women than for men, I think. <laughs> when when a bloke accidentally puts a kiss on the end of a message to a friend, he will not hear the end of that for weeks. <laughs> I think weeks. that happens what quite a, a lot. It <laughs> does. I've done yeah. it myself. Yeah. It's and a habit. It's, it's, yeah. You, yeah. you send it and there's that fume <laughs> where you just think, 
Oh. And, you, and you, often, you often get it, I've had this, you, you get an apology or a mortified apology from a, from a friend's wife who thinks they're texting your wife but actually is, you know, Got texts you. it to you <laughs> and sends you a kiss. And it, oh, no, yeah. I didn't mean to do yeah. that. Yeah. It, it's easy to fall into traps with it, isn't it's it? It's very easy to fall into traps with it. And as I said, I think if you avoid that cardinal sin of, yes, be aware at least of who you're writing to and what you're saying. Um, but also be aware of the fact that I don't think it necessarily matters that much. But do not try and be clever. I mean, mm. this idea, it's like, was it Gordon Brown who tried to say he liked Arctic monkeys yes. or something and then couldn't, couldn't name a single track? <laughs> right. The yeah. point is, if you're trying to do it with young people to show that you're aware, is the you're problem, actually doing the opposite. Is the problem, though, that actually it's, it's all about communication with young people, isn't it? Is mm. it that they're not perhaps talking to each other in the way that they should be? Does uh, text replace that? I don't think so. I think... You know, small groups and cultural groups have always had their own language, mm -hmm. and this is very much a separate language. I mean, this all grew out of the bulletin boards, the kind of pre-internet mm -hmm. communication, where people actually wanted to hide their communication from kind of oversight. That's exactly what kids are doing. They're not doing it deliberately to shut us out, but it's become part of the culture, it's become part of the language, and it allows them to communicate in a comfortable way. Mm -hmm. I agree, though, the problem comes when it replaces normally. And exactly. And, and, and only if it replaces is it a problem. But and it ultimately, do, do things like this become so mainstream that they find their way into things like the Oxford English Dictionary and totally. you know it will it I will, mean it's sorted it, yeah. it will and that's when you actually realize they've moved on because if it's in the dictionary <laughs> if you can find it there then forget trying to do it with your teenagers because they they'll pass and on. the very good thing is that uh, quite a lot of them include the letter F and yes. we've managed to uh, completely avoid yeah. apart from falling <laughs> yeah. right, so, so far yeah, Raj floor. yeah well done <laughs> <laughs> let's not talk about that just maybe. not the right thing for a Sunday yeah. morning thank you very, very much thank indeed. you thank you <laughs> now uh, a lawnmower racing the boy who made a fortune from cardboard and some dancing soldiers yeah it's uh, the week's weird and wonderful video stories in Newsbeat's Oddbox and here's Dominic Byrne <laughs>